Hi, it's One Invisible Songstress, and I do have a new song today. This is from a series that I've been doing for a while, and this one is called Information That's Divine, Part 20, Baruch Hashem, and maybe there'll be more parts in the future, Be'ezad Hashem, and this is called What We Like to Do is Usually the Wrong Thing, and the words in Hebrew will be explained underneath the video. What we like to do is usually the wrong thing. How do I know this? Can I be so sure of myself? It is not from my own understanding, but comes from the holy, from the holy, divine Torah. Most people, ho, 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 even those who are part of Am Yisrael, said to say, get cut up and swallowed into the ills of society, and forget that they have a higher purpose given to them. By Hashem, Yitbarach, there is so much immodesty, immorality, and indecency all around us, and it is infiltrated into the Jewish nation so much so that you may see people walking down the street who are your brothers and sisters, but are so far from Yiddishkeit, that you'd be shocked with how they are dressing, talking, behaving. No one share with them in their early years. What is a mitzvah and a vera according to the Torah? So how can they know what uh, uh, to who do who who? Or it may go further than that. As the parents may already not know anything themselves because it goes back generations that pick and choose what they want to do. And if it doesn't fit into their lifestyle, it is left out. It's a sad state of uh, affairs, as most have no clue, and only live for their desires, which have no true or lasting fulfillment, and leaves them empty, sad, and depressed, thinking there is no way out, and ultimately may give up trying. If they are searching and praying for guidance, HaKadosh Baruch will send them a messenger by way of a person CD video call or email someone or something that, that can help them to get out of their misery and slowly but surely he, he, climb out and rise above their life of futility everyone has a chance to change and do teshuva as the neshama only wants to do what is right but sometimes doesn't know what or how to go about it so the yetzer ha'ara uh, may get into your head and tell you to opt for the easy way out because you need to have fun as you don't have much time in this world to do to do so but you can't listen to the bad advice from the evil inclination who is trying to mess with your brain as if you do give in in the end, in the Olam HaEmet, will cause your soul much shame, sorrow and pain. What we like to do is usually the wrong thing, but it doesn't mean it has to stay that way. We have to open up to the Emmet, even if it is hard to hear, and start listening to lectures. Below I have a list of names that I recommend. Make a change, put in the effort, it will take time, especially if your life is filled with the tumma of this world, as need to peel off those layers that are an obstruction and barriers to a real connection with the Boreolum. Best you start right now while you're still alive in this world because any second it could be over for you without any prior warning or notice like a blink of the eye so heed the warning study learn no practice and observe what it says in the Torah as it is not my words or opinions but is all from Avinu Shabashamayim I hope and pray that we'll all do teshuva here and now so it will not be told to us when our neshama gets to the court uh, of heaven that everything we did in the world was all a waste of time but rather made an impact that also brought others back 
to living life as Torah to observant Jews, but rather made an impact, but rather made an impact, and also brought others back, and also brought others back to living life, to living life, to living life as Torah to observant Jews. Thanks for listening, one invisible songstress.